back to my channel. Today I have something really cool and pretty exciting that I'm super excited, double excited, to tell you guys about. I have a new segment to bring to my channel and it is called, as you saw in the title, Life Hacks with Tasha. That's me. What this is, is over the past couple months I've noticed a bunch of cool things that I've been doing and found out about that are making my life a lot easier. Bless these things. So I thought it'd be really cool to tell you guys about them and the way that I'm going to do that is by bringing you kind of like a monthly segment, sharing cool and new ways to just kind of make your life a little bit easier because they've sure as heck made mine easier. Look out for these probably like once a month. If you guys like them, make sure to thumbs up the video so that I know that and yeah, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so firstly, I know all y'all got some candles out there that you've been burning for like hours, maybe years, and you just physically cannot light them with a lighter anymore without burning the heck out of your fingers. So for all you candle lovers, this is going to save the tips of your fingers for a long time to come. The trick is easy. All you're going to need is some spaghetti. Yeah, I said it, spaghetti. <laughs> and basically what you're going to do is you're going to light the spaghetti as if it were your candle wick. Then take the spaghetti that's lit and put it inside your candle and ta-da! You save your fingers from a lot of pain and you still get to enjoy the last bit of your candle. This next one is pretty commonly known but I'm including it because there was a point in time where I had no idea about this and somebody told me and I was like, excuse me, what? Now I don't wear dark lipstick all that much but when I do I usually go out in public looking like this. So to prevent my misfortunes from happening to you, here's a tip that will keep your lipstick where it's supposed to be. Start by applying your lipstick as usual, and then take your index finger, place it inside your mouth, and pull it out. Go ahead and look at your finger and you shall see the lipstick that would have normally been on your teeth on your finger, a better place for it in my opinion. Okay, so you know those times where you're like, oh yeah, glitter nail polish, that would look so cute, let's paint my nails with glitter. And then it's time to take the glitter off and you're like, why did I paint my nails with glitter? Alright girl, well get yourself some white school glue and never be scared of glitter again. Take some of the glue onto an old paintbrush that you don't really care about, apply it to your nail as though you were painting your nails, apply just like a small even layer, nothing too extravagant, and then go ahead and paint your nails as you would normally with your glitter. When it comes time to take it off, go ahead and just use your nail and yeah, you can thank me later. This next life hack comes to you from an elementary school Tasha, as Tasha now rarely ever wears jeans, but this one's definitely a lifesaver back then. Do you have a pair of jeans where no matter what you do, your fly always comes down? It's not even that they don't fit, it's just the fly it just doesn't work with you. All right, well go get that ring off your keychain, and we're going to want to attach it to the end of the fly. You'll see like a little opening where you can attach it to. Once you've done that, go ahead and zip up your fly and attach the ring to your button. While it's undone is better, just so that when you do do it up, you won't be able to see the ring. And woohoo, nobody's gonna catch you on the playground with your fly undone anymore. Alright, I couldn't have a life hacks video without using Vaseline in some way because that stuff solves all woes. Of course, we all know it helps to grow your eyelashes a lot longer, but today we're going to be using it for something different. Am I the only one that wonders sometimes why people's perfume lasts so long and mine literally fades off within like 5 seconds of leaving the house? No? Am I alone on that one? Okay, well anyways, go ahead and take some Vaseline and rub that on the pinpoints where you usually spray your perfume. So I usually do both of my wrists and then my neck, so I'm just going to take a little bit of Vaseline and rub that in those places, and then I'm going to go ahead and spray my perfume there. This is going to help your perfume last all day because it actually has something to stick to and something to keep all those smelly particles on your body. If you like saving money, this next one's for you, and if you don't, feel free to give me all of it. I don't know. Half the time we buy mascara, we're normally paying for the brush and not what's actually in the bottle. We all tend to have different preferences on what kind of brush we use and so that kind of proves it. So what I'm doing here is I'm just taking a cheap mascara from Walmart and what I'm going to be doing is I have this old mascara that I love and it's the Revlon Girl Luscious that I use all the time, you see me use. And what I'm just going to do is I'm going to take the brush out of the cheap mascara. I'm going to take my old crummy gross one from my Revlon, I'm going to wash it up and then I'm going to take it and I'm going to use it into this other mascara. This last one is for all of y'all who change your lipstick choice like 300 times a day. 
which basically sums me up as a human being. The worst is when I'm like, oh yeah, I'm totally gonna wear a dark lipstick, and then I put it on and I say, oh no, I really don't want to, I wanna wear like pastel pink. But it's super hard to get the red off, and then when I put the pastel pink over it, it just doesn't work because my lips are stained red. We're gonna go ahead and take our Vaseline again, and no, this is not sponsored, I just seriously use this stuff for everything. We're gonna take some onto our finger and we're gonna just apply it to our lips like a lip balm basically. Then go ahead and take your Kleenex and just wipe it off and it takes a stain right off your lips. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions about anything I mentioned in this video, feel free to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you want to see an episode two and I will be sure to do that for you guys. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your week and I'll see you on Saturday. Bye!